Welcome back to the big story. Now to a story that has enraged many Americans, and likely so, but none more so than those who have been personally affected by it. It's a question of rights, free speech, and appropriate conduct. Hey, John, this is Rex, and uh, I'm down here in Puerto Vallarta, uh, just like you with a deadline at the paper. I got a deadline to meet. It's uh, almost 4 o'clock. It's happy hour, and the drinks are two for one, so that's my deadline. You, too, will uh, have this deadline very, very soon. Happy retirement, my friends. So long for now. Burning behind me is eight and a half tons of heroin, opium, hashish, and other narcotics. <laughs> Burning behind me. <laughs> hey, John. I wish I was able to be at your retirement party, but here I am on the sandy shores of Lake Michigan. I wish you the best with your retirement. And Terry sure does have some big shoes to fill as you've done some amazing things for the communities on the peninsula. Hope you're able to get out and do some fishing and just enjoy everything retirement has to offer to you. Take care and I miss you. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Congratulations, John Brewer. Oh, look, look. <gasps> Who's that? Say, bye-bye, John. Bye-bye. You guys have the same birthday, John, but you're a tad bit older. Just wanted to say congratulations. Um, this whole non-working thing, best thing in the whole wide world. There's a whole other life out there with no stress, okay, little stress, and fun, and things that you love to do, and you're gonna just like the heck out of it. Um, wish I could be there, but I wasn't the party planner, so I didn't know when it was until much later. So, congratulations, wish I was there. Wait, wait, one more exciting thing. Say bye-bye, say bye, Jonas, bye-bye, now. He's a monster. <coughs> Good afternoon from the Seven Newsroom. I'm Jacqueline Felgate. It's Matt Schubert here. You are young, or once young, protege, now an old balding man in Chicago, Illinois, barely getting by in his wits and his good looks. Just wanted to uh, thank you for being such a wonderful mentor and teaching me the ways of the newspaper man. I... I know I certainly wouldn't be where I'm at in my career if it wasn't for uh, the time you took to uh, to teach me uh, everything that uh, you did about the craft of writing and, and putting together uh, a newspaper. I'm very thankful for all that you did for me and certainly uh, miss uh, the days when I'd get awkward shoulder rubs from you and we talk about fishing. Hard to think of anybody who has uh, earned a retirement more than you, John. I can remember many a night coming back to the office and seeing you slamming away on the keyboard and thinking, what the hell is he still doing here? But, uh, but that's uh, just the kind of publisher you were, always putting in the time and doing as much as you could to make sure we put out a good paper and, and uh, provided readers with a good product. 
Um, I hope that uh, you get all that you want out of retirement and that uh, you uh, catch a few more fish before it's all said and done. Um, who knows, maybe uh, I can join you sometime and uh, actually show you how to do it. So, until we meet again, John. Hi, John. Hey, listen, just want to tell you what an honor it is that we worked together for as long as we did and wish you the best and happiest. Save that. That's just <laughs> too good. That's a blooper. <laughs> yeah, that's a blooper. I'm Ali Gifford. The Russian capital city of Moscow is bristling this morning with oil. Oh, dog, darn it. Shit. Congratulations, John. Enjoy every minute of your retirement. You deserve it. Thank you for everything. We're working harder for you. You got nothing to fucking do. Watch us after the game. <laughs>